Beautiful, fascinating, and potentially deadly, lightning strikes millions of times per day around the world. But exactly what is lightning and what causes it? Simply put, lightning is a sudden discharge of static electricity from within a storm cloud. The most common types we see are cloud to ground, intracloud, and cloud to cloud lightning. But there are many other types, including positive cloud to ground lightning, and there's rarer upper atmospheric transient luminous events known as blue jets, red sprites, and elves. A bolt of lightning starts off as a stepped leader, a small invisible finger of electric charge that reaches out from a negatively charged region of the cloud to connect with a region of positive charge, be that in the same cloud, a different cloud, or on the ground. As the stepped leader grows longer, feeling for the path of least resistance through the air, it can retreat, zigzag, or branch out. Meanwhile, a similar finger, called a streamer, reaches out from its target, and when they meet, zap! In a fraction of a second, up to a billion volts of electricity flow along the lightning path. And then there is a brilliant flash of light as a return stroke flows back along the channel. This intense flow of energy superheats the air in the channel, causing it to violently expand, sending out a shock wave that slams the air molecules into those surrounding the lightning path, which sets off a clap of thunder. So, where does all this charge buildup come from? There's some debate about this, but the basic idea is that collisions between snow pellets falling towards the ground, with ice crystals being lofted upwards, result in the exchange of charge. In the colder upper half of the cloud, the snow pellets pick up negative charge during these collisions, while the ice crystals become positively charged. In the warmer lower half of the cloud, the opposite occurs. As the snow pellets continue to fall and melt into raindrops, and the ice crystals continue to rise, this results in the cloud having three distinct charge regions. One of the persistent mysteries about lightning is how it's actually initiated, because even the immense charge buildup inside the cloud doesn't seem to be enough to overcome air resistance. So it's possible that each lightning flash we see gets a little extraterrestrial kick from a cosmic ray particle. These particles stream down from space all the time, smacking into air molecules and producing showers of charged particles. Inside a thunderstorm, this would form ionized trails, which would act as freeways of lower air resistance for the charge to follow and set off a lightning bolt. Some of the most recent research has revealed that lightning can even generate antimatter and gamma rays, some of the most powerful pulses of light in the known universe. Now that we know more about lightning, come back for episode three, where we'll look at hail, how it forms, and the damage it can cause as we all become a bit more weatherwise.